Uganda Development Bank's new board chairman Felix Okoboy says an immediate strategy to inject further capital into the government-owned institution is critical in order to meet the wide demand for credit by eligible projects. That equity is, is offered to a market investor who has a clear exit timeline. After five years, say, the investor would exit and government would uh, take control of those shares again. So there are various methods. We're looking at quite a few of them. Um, and I guess a development bank has more options available to them to capitalize with government support uh, than uh, other banks. He says the need to expand on capital inflows to UDB beyond the half a trillion shillings now is motivated by the current restructured operations of the development lender. Key significant process of strengthening bank structures, strengthening the systems, uh, that oversee and govern the bank, bringing on uh, talented uh, human capital to run the bank, which we now have in place. The Uganda Development Bank, Okoboy says, is also assessing critical projects with stable returns on investment, in which it can directly partner with by way of capital deployment. We can also provide uh, a very key role in those investments and projects. For example, we might come in as an anchor investor in the project and the private sector requires that anchor investor in order to be able to also come in uh, alongside to co-invest. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.